Hey everybody, uh, Kerry Robinson here, coming from Jackson, Tennessee again. Uh, batting practice is over, and the game's about to start here within the next hour or so. But uh, I just wanted, I just shared, some, I just learned something about umpiring and umpires, and I want to share with you a little story. So I'm leaving the hotel to come to the stadium, and I hold the door open for a gentleman who had a Dallas Cowboy shirt on. Dallas Cowboy golf shirt. So we started a conversation. Uh, obviously started talking about the Cowboys, but whenever I run into a, uh, a fellow Cowboy fan, I always have to ask that Tony Romo question, what they think about Tony Romo. And um, so he gave me his answer. But then uh, I saw that he had a Major League Baseball um, thing around his neck like this, but Major League Baseball. So um, I assumed he was a scout and because uh, he kind of dressed like I was. I am right now and uh, I said so you're a scout too and he's like no I'm an umpire well uh, I said oh really you're an umpire so basically he's one of the umpires that's going to be umpiring the game tonight and um, by the way I know the music's loud in the background so forgive me for that but uh, so he's umpiring the game tonight and we, we he asked me exactly what I did as a scout so I went on to explain to him uh, what we do you know we put reports in on players and uh, that's how trades are made because uh, the front office management, uh, they look at our reports and uh, they look at the sabermetric stuff and kind of make their decisions from there. Anyway, I said there's something I always wanted to ask an umpire. And I said, uh, you know, the, the worst thing you can do as an umpire is totally ignore me. So one time, I even told him this story, at one time I was at the plate and I was whining about uh, a pitch that I was called to strike on me. The umpire said, hey, man, I just missed that one. So uh, I just turned around and went back to my at-bat. There's nothing more I can say because he admitted that he made a mistake. And I think as players sometimes, we just want those guys to acknowledge that they make mistakes too, right? We don't. You know, that doesn't always come across. But um, I asked him, I said, um, you know, the worst thing you can do to me as a player is totally ignore me. So when guys are chirping in the dugout, uh, you were the home plate umpire and some guys are chirping about uh, balls and strikes and stuff like that. Why don't you guys just ignore them? And what he said to me was, it's all about control. It's all about controlling the game. He said, if you let one or two guys do it, and the third guy, he usually does not chirp or say anything, will do it, think it's okay to do it too. And so they want to maintain control of the game. And uh, that, that made a lot of sense to me. In fact, I wish somebody had explained that to me back when I was playing because, I mean, in my lifetime, I was throwing out two ball games. The first one was actually a current Major League umpire, Laz Diaz, and I think, well, I've heard stories that he's actually held that against me my whole career when he threw me out, but uh, when he threw me out, it was a total misunderstanding. It wasn't me that uh, even was chirping. It was somebody else. It was Scarborough Green. So, Scarborough, if you're on here, you can share that story. But uh, what I learned about umpire is, and he talked about he's in double A, and uh, he's trying to work his way up to the big leagues just like the players are. So what I learned about umpires, and I have to admit this, is that they are human beings too. You know, he has three girls just like me. Uh, he's just trying to work his way up to the big leagues. He's, you know, for those guys to get jobs in the major leagues, uh, they are, you know, they're one percenters, just like the rest of the players. Like I shared the statistics on my blog that less than one percent of guys in baseball, or less than one percent of guys who are eligible to sign a contract actually get signed to a contract. And then once you do sign, less than five percent of those guys who play professionally make it to the major league. So the odds are stacked against us as players. They're stacked against the umpires. And that's what I learned is that umpires are human beings too. And those guys are all trying to do the best they can and get to the top level of their careers. So I'm going to have to lay off because you guys, if you know me really well, I get on officials of all kinds of sports. Uh, I'm going to lay off umpires, uh, basketball officials, football officials, hockey and soccer. I don't know if I can lay off. I've seen some bad officiating in those two sports. So you guys have a wonderful Thursday uh, evening and uh, don't get caught up in the storms too much. Have a good day.